Hey guys, what's up? I'm Wolf, and today I'm going to show you guys how to start out well for Radiation Island. Um, basically, I've been having a lot of requests to show you guys how to start out the game and what to do and why. how did I finish the game so quickly and when some of you guys not doing so well. Well, basically, is I started out on Adventure Mode. You want to start out as a, on Adventure Mode just like the game is meant to be played and then um, basically, go to the main building, the main big tower. You see, as soon as you spawn, pick up the arrows and the bow, and that you have a weapon. Easy to use weapon, one hit kill the wolves and everything like that. Uh, and then, also you'll find a bear skin, uh, which is very, very important, because that bear skin can be turned into leather. And then also you want to pick up several twigs, and then uh, you'll be able to craft a bigger backpack. You go to your clothing section, uh, this is just going to show you guys right here. I'm going to get attacked by wolves here really shortly. But if, they, actually, the wolves drop leather too. So if you, if you don't find the bear skin, you can kill wolves and take their leather uh, for your backpack and stuff like that. So basically, is I'm going to kill these on, uh, zombies, wolves. And then, um, uh, if you're wondering, I was playing this on my iPod Touch. I didn't want to mess it up on my other device with my account and stuff and the game. Like, you know, game save and stuff. And I also did figure out that you can have several different profiles if you want to restart the game and in different, you know, setting, exploration, adventure, whatever, and so on. I'll show you guys that later in the video. So you pick up this, uh, you pick up the bear skin, now you can turn it into leather, and then you can turn it into a backpack, uh, an upgrade for your backpack. So you'll see here really quickly, I'm going to hit the craft button, and now I have a bigger backpack. Go right in. See, now you got a whole extra row. So now we go up all the way up to the top and uh, of this tower, and um, you'll see another one of these crates. And in the crate, you'll find this journal. You always want to pick up the journal entries. They'll help you finish the game. You have to use them. Um, this one specifically didn't have anything useful for it. It's just a storytelling one. Uh, but I'm right here, I'm going to pull it up again, and you guys can see here. I'm going to go over to the side after I look at all the settings and stuff like that. But um, those things, uh, the journal entries will definitely help you because you need to have them for the codes that they give you. The codes will help you take down the conduits or Tesla towers that they have. So here on the side you can see we have change active profile. So I'm going to go back you know, to act, change active profile and you can see there's my active one right now and then you can have several different ones going all the way down. So you can do that to join, start a new game or you can Totally uninstall the game, delete it, and then reinstall it, and then you can, you can restart all over again. Some people were asking me how to do that. When you come up to one of these houses with the sleeping beds, always go in and tap the bed. Even though you can't sleep and it's daytime. There's no journal entry, here's going to be a code. Always tap the bed because it's important because if you die, you respawn at the closest bed you've been at. So definitely do that. So now leaving this, uh, we're going to go... Uh, explore now to other houses and stuff like that. I walked up to that house, there wasn't much importance. But now, if you guys want to know how to get to a uh, conduit or Tesla tower really quickly and efficiently, all you have to do is pull, pull, pull up your journal again, look at the uh, code where it's at, it's got a little X, and then go to your map, click right where you think it is on the map, and you'll have like this little, you know, dot that comes up, and then uh, right at the bottom of your screen you have this yellow little arrow that points to where you're gonna go so that's where you want to go head that way just keep going and you'll get to the place uh, at the condo towers there's gonna be more crates more journal entries more equipment only stop for food water uh, there's, there's no water for food and uh, weapons otherwise just keep moving don't stop for anything and then you'll make it all the way to the end no problem in no time so guys thank you very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed my video I hope that was helpful for you guys I'll see you guys later on.